Hello, my loves. Welcome to a new Twin Flame Soulmate Immortal Beloved Collective Reading. So this is for all of you who are on the journey to union or reunion with that special person if you've been in some form of struggle or separation with little to no contact. So what I'm going to be doing is connecting energetically to all of you and channeling messages from spirit that's really going to help you clarify and answer any questions you might have about what your person is realizing about you and this connection at this time. So we're going to look at many different things. I'm going to be asking spirit questions on your behalf. And these questions are going to specifically tell us if your person is changing, evolving through this connection. Like what are they realizing? What are they feeling? We're going to go in deep on, you know, what is their current energy? What are they experiencing in their energy, in their life journey? What are you experiencing in your energy, in your life journey? What are you both doing together? We're going to take a look at your connective energy. What is the energy of your connection? We're going to take a look at what, like I said, they are realizing. Are they changing? Are they shifting? What new ideas and transformation is coming through for your person? And stay with me until the end because at the end we're going to do a pick a crystal. That is why I have three crystals here because what we're going to be doing is using the divine timing oracle to get you timing Okay, on when these shifts are happening. If you're looking for a shift or if you're looking for things to progress or you're waiting for a message to come in or you're looking for some sort of... Um, a change in the situation. Okay, so we're going to get you some general timing on when things might be shifting in your particular situation because this is a general reading, right? So we want to be very gentle with ourselves, take the messages that resonate for you and leave the rest. But as I said, at the end, I'm going to give you the option to choose a crystal so that you can get some timing. So if you're new to this channel, I want to welcome you. I am Dr. V. It is my absolute passion and purpose to do these readings for you, to help you on this journey, because I know it can be difficult. I know sometimes we can feel very alone on this journey. So that's why we're here. And I urge you to really participate. Join this beautiful Live Tarot family where we are all here to support each other. We understand what you, what you are going through. We're here not only to activate this beautiful union or reunion, but we're also here to lead our best lives, to step into our greatness and to truly attract in everything that we so deserve on this life's journey. That's why I say make sure you subscribe, join us. It is a beautiful energetic exchange between us. It helps me to tap into your energy so that I can give you the best possible readings. So before we dive right in, I do have a couple of really cool announcements. First of all, I just want to thank you all um, for your beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> um, messages and uh, reviews and comments on the Blessed Twin Flame Necklace. So this is back in stock, but again, I only have a few left. So what this necklace is, and you can also see it on your screen right now, um, probably closer, is that it is a blessed necklace. So what I do is when you order one of these, I put this necklace with your name as well as your twin flame's name if you, you know, ha if you've already met your twin flame, if not, that's fine too. And what I do is I put it in my sacred altar that I have been meditating and praying at for over 15 years. I do a lot of meditation, prayer and infuse energy into this necklace so that when you wear it, you feel a tremendous amount of internal strength, love, 
attraction to the divine, like attraction to your twin flame or soulmate, whoever it is that you would like to attract into your life. And just overall feeling of wellness and positivity that that is what was my intention on um, creating this necklace and that is why it is called the blessed twin flame necklace and if you would like to have one um, you can order it from my Etsy shop we do offer international shipping now actually for the necklace as well as all of my decks so if you want international shipping order from my Etsy shop also what you get with the necklace is um, a handwritten card from me with a blessing from spirit and I will also be choosing a specific twin flame activation affirmation from spirit directly to you you should use in your spiritual practice to activate and attract your twin flame the reason why I have this deck in this gold bag is I also wanted to let you know that I have a very special offer I'm gonna be doing this for the next few weeks so for anybody who has been wanting that 50 minute live reading with me on zoom for all of you who order that I will also send you the Twin Flame Union activation deck for free. It will be part of your reading. So if you've been waiting on this, you've been really wanting it, this would be the best time to go ahead and schedule that reading. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start your reading. All right, my beautiful family, let's get started with our affirmation of the day. So for our beautiful Live Tarot family spirit, can you please give us beautiful affirmation that's going to activate more love, romance, union, reunion in our lives. So if you'd like to participate, you can write this affirmation in the comment box below with your comment on the reading. Put it in your vibration today. I am growing into my fullest self. I am growing into my fullest self. Beautiful affirmation today. All right, so we're going to get started with asking the question, what does the universe want from you and from your twin flame soulmate beloved? Okay, like what does the universe desire for the two of you to step into at this time? What, what are they calling you to okay so right here we're going to take a look at what is the universe asking of you calling of you here we're going to look at what is the universe asking and calling your twin flame soulmate person to okay so spirit can you please tell us for our beautiful live tarot collective here our beautiful family what is the universe asking you, calling you to do at this time in your life's journey? Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Okay, how beautiful is this? You know what? I'm gonna take this message for myself too. <laughs> I feel like we are coming into a beautiful transformative energy right now. Okay, there's a an eclipse happening. Not sure when it is depending on where you are in the world, but I do very much believe that the energies right now are very strong, very strong. So you can take it either as a challenge right? A beautiful challenge to take whatever comes during this phase and dance with it, right? Don't let it get you down if you are feeling heavier energies at this time. Instead, I feel the universe is calling to you to dance with your life, okay? Take everything that is going on 
and romanticize it, you know, start adding a gentle energy to everything that is going on in your world around you, whether it's in the connection that you feel with your special person, as well as your professional life, your family life, your personal health, your well-being. It is time to romanticize. It is time to literally be the star of your own movie, the star of your own life. Dance with the energies around you. Turn everything into your favor. Turn each challenge into an opportunity to grow and to see how you can transform it into something that is going to be a beautiful and useful new addition or new direction in your life. Wow, I just love this. So let's take a look at what is the universe asking of your person at this time. What is the universe asking or calling upon your person, your special person, to do at this time? Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. Okay, so I feel like your person has definitely been feeling alone lately okay there's something within them and you know how sometimes loneliness has nothing to do with how many people are around you right oftentimes we can feel quite lonely even though we are crowded with people around us sometimes i would feel like that's kind of like a you know it seems counterintuitive but sometimes the more um energy we may have around us the more we have some sense of you know chaos going on in our life we may have a lot of people around us who are asking certain things of us who are expecting certain things we may have a lot of obligations around us and that can make us feel even more alone and so what i feel is that your person right now they need to start opening up themselves to the idea that they are not alone okay they have you with them but they also have a spirit team and i feel like the universe is calling upon your person to really step into that spiritual side, okay? To explore the possibility, if they haven't already, that there is something behind the veil, okay? Behind the veil of this material reality, there is a spiritual realm. And within that realm, there is a team that is focused upon them, that is guiding them to their well-being, that is guiding them to this union with you. If they could just open themselves up to the beautiful possibilities. I feel like your person is coming to um, a point in their life where this is going to be really important. It's almost, I feel like this is the next chapter for them. This is the next level. And spirit is calling upon them to drop their resistance to that. Because for many of you, I do feel like your person may have been resistant to the idea of that spiritual realm. You know, they might want to take the material world at face value. Like they may not feel comfortable. They may not have up till now felt comfortable in acknowledging that there is a divinity there is a source behind that veil and I feel like that veil is getting thinner and thinner for all of us I do feel that one of the great transformations that is going on in the collective at this time is that the veil between the material and the spiritual is getting thinner and thinner and I feel like that's that's one of the most powerful transformations that are definitely coming to life on earth that if you are ready for this awakening for all the souls who are already on this path and who are looking past that veil seeing how it is getting thinner seeing how the spiritual realm the realm of light the realm of your source spirit and your spirit guides your access our access to them is becoming more and more clear, more and more powerful, and more and more necessary. 
And I feel like that is where your person is going, where that is where the universe is calling your person at this time. And I think that that is really, really important. I feel like your person really needs to open up their energy, their arms, their mind, like and embrace this spirit team. And I feel like as they do that, they're also going to dance with you better in this life. I feel like this is a dance that the two of you are wanting and needing and knowing that you wish to do together. I feel like as your person starts opening themselves up to the spiritual realm, this dance is going to become easier for the two of you. You're going to find places of connection, deeper connection. You're going to open up intimacy because your person is opening themselves up in such a beautiful way here. So as they open here, so this dance with you will get more and more beautiful. I love that. So Spirit, can you please tell us for these two beautiful souls here? I love this. Look how beautiful this is. What is the energy of your connection together at this time? What is the connective energy between you? Look at that creation. Mm. See, I love that. Absolutely. I mean, I feel like that is a confirmation of this beautiful transformation and this evolution that I feel both of you are going through at this time. So what else can you tell us, Spirit? What else can you tell us? What is the connective energy? What is the energy of the connection here? See? Beautiful. So I do feel very strongly that the more both of you step into this energy of what the universe is calling for you, the more you are going to attract each other, the more you are going to create the exact relationship, the exact love, the foundations of what you really want together so that you can build upon that in a really powerful way. There is a very, very deep, deep power that you're both accumulating, that you're both creating in this connective energy, okay? There is a power of creation here, okay? This is so beautiful. I'm getting a lot of magician and empress energy here, okay? I'm feeling that from the divine masculine, it is an energy of the magician wishing to create, manifest something very, very big. And knowing that connecting with their internal resources, connecting with spirit is going to help the divine masculine to create something big here using that magician's energy. And from the, from the divine feminine side, I'm also feeling that same beauty of creation coming from the empress's energy. Okay. So it is definitely an energy of, we are looking to attract the best parts of each other into this relationship. And from there, I'm also feeling that there is, for those of you who are in that stage of life, I'm also feeling that this creation is also about the creation of your future family. Okay, so this is about coming together in this dance of life, attracting the best aspects of one another, and in that union, perhaps creating a family, okay, creating a home, a life together where you are building a solid foundation based on your connections to spirit as well as your connection to one another. Really beautiful. Wow. Okay, so what I'd like to know next is how does your person truly feel about you? What are they realizing? Okay, what are they realizing in those feelings? Now, I know some of you may be in struggle or separation, so you really do need, you know, light bulb moments here, right? You really do want um, your person as well as yourself to evolve in your thinking, to open up to new possibilities, new solutions to old problems sometimes, you know, sometimes you need that space to solve 
some of the obstacles or problems that may be coming between you at this time, right? So I feel like we want to know, Spirit, what has your person realized in their feelings? What are they feeling and what have they realized about you and this connection? Are there changes here that they are making? Five of Swords. Okay, that's a big one. That is a big one. Page of Cups. Mm -hmm. What are they realizing? How are they feeling? Knight of Wands. The Four of Cups. Okay, very interesting. Okay. So definitely we're looking at energies here that are for sure involving obstacles right i'm actually very encouraged here that we got this five of swords because i feel like this shows us that your person is realizing to the extent that perhaps their sense of ego their sense of pride their sense of wanting to be right in situations may have led to some very difficult times between the two of you. I think there's a sense, a sense of, there's a sense of embarrassment, you know? I feel like for some of you, things have happened here, words have been said, actions have been taken that are extremely harmful that have come from a very dark place in your person again with this five of swords i feel like there was some triggering that has happened here within the relationship um i feel like certain situations have come up that have triggered your person in some very deep ways and those triggers may have very much manifested themselves in very negative talk they may have lashed out they may have said a lot of things that they did not mean but they were they were lashing out from being very deeply triggered and i feel like in the aftermath of that unfortunately it feels that they really neglected to even address it Four of Cups, I feel like they became very emotionally shut down. And because of that, I also feel that you may have been feeling neglected in this connection. There's a sense of abandonment. I'm also feeling a sense of abandonment here. Like as in, you know, the, the emotions became so heightened. Okay, with this Five of Swords and Four of Cups energy, there was some very, very heightened emotion. And I almost feel like it was like a big bang, you know, like a big explosion and then a withdrawal. You know, so it's kind of like extremes. We have this big explosion that comes from that egoic mind, that egoic self. And then we retreat into silence. So it's either, it's like the extremes of... It's the extremes of I'm either saying too much and what I'm saying is irresponsible, it is hurtful, it was wrong. And now because I've said too much, I am now going to retreat into silence because now I've backed myself into a corner and I don't know what to say to get out of it. So this is why I feel like it feels like an abandonment. It feels like somebody, you know, went off here and then just completely stepped back and kind of abandoned the situation. And now they're sitting there pouting with their, you know, <laughs> kind of like with their arms crossed. Here they were acting like, you know, look at me, I'm the big boss. I'm right, you're wrong, right? And now they're sitting here pouting. So I feel though that there is a lot of regret that is coming from this energy right here. A lot of regret because 
your person, the realization is hitting them that the way they handled the situation is so wrong. The way they hurt you is so wrong. I also feel that the re one of the main reasons why they also got this energy here of the universe calling upon them, I feel like it's very timely because they needed that. As they're in this energy, of course, spirit is going to say, you know what? It's time for you to look inside. It's time for you to see us. It's time for you to acknowledge that we are there and take our guidance because you've kind of screwed things up here. You know, like you have some lessons to learn. You have some lessons to learn here. And I feel like that is where the realization is coming from. And I feel like that triggering really caused them to counter manifest. And what I mean by counter manifest is to manifest exactly the opposite of what they wanted. And what they want is to truly to be with you, right? But they let their triggers, they let whatever is that kind of stuff that they've been holding on to inside that much of it probably has nothing to do with you. It has to do with their own wounds. They let it get in the way, right? And in that sense, they weren't connected to the divine. They weren't able to see past those triggers. And th that's hard. I mean, it's hard for all of us. We all have them, right? So it's not my place to judge. I am not at all judging them, nor you, nor anybody else. We all have these issues, but we also all have to take responsibility for when we are triggered, right? We must take responsibility for... Um, our own actions and our the ways in which we handled or mishandled a very delicate situation, a loving situation with somebody who truly loves and cares for us. And this is why I feel like their realization at this time is that they so wish to communicate their love to you with this page of cups energy. They want to communicate with you how much they love you and how much they regret. And they really are impatient. They're in a hurry to come to you with this knight of wands. Like I'm also feeling that right now, if there has been some sort of a stepping back, your person is also feeling very, very passionate about you. They're feeling a tremendous, passionate, um, energy to come back into your physical space or into your energy. Like they, they really miss your energy, whether, uh, and I feel like it's a combination of your emotional energy and your physical energy. Like they want to be near you again in any way they possibly can. They wish to be near you again and they are in a hurry to do so. Okay. They're in a hurry to be near you again, but I also feel that there's a lot of embarrassment here, right? Over the behavior. There's a lot of, oh my gosh, how do I even explain this behavior? How do I even ask for forgiveness? How do I open up the conversation? It's almost like, it's like, <laughs> you know, they have to eat humble pie here, right? It's time to eat humble pie. It's time to show your humility. It's time to show that perhaps these situations are opening themselves themselves up to a new level of understanding, a new level of being, okay? And that's going to be really, really key here. So let's get some specific messages and let's get some, some things that they or both of you together probably need to surrender to help this connection be stronger, okay? Because what we want to do is strengthen this connection, right? We want to, you know, if, if we are separated, if we are looking for reunion, or if we're just struggling to have that union in the first place, what we need here is to better understand each other so we can strengthen the bond, right? So we can strengthen the this, this energetic exchange. So what would your person say to you from their higher self? Oh, that one flew out. See, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So this is why we're getting that confirmation. See, I'm sorry that I judged and criticized you. See? 
I took my issues out on you when it wasn't your fault. Oh my gosh, Spirit, thank you so much. I don't know if you could see it on camera, how it just flew out. Like to me, I feel like this is the confirmation that there was some humble pie. There were things, there were things here that came out, out of being triggered, okay? And look at this. I feel like this is also the perfect, perfect affirmation for your person as well as you, right? I'm growing into my fullest self. I feel like, again, this is what spirit, this is what the universe is calling upon your person and you to do that it through this process, whether you guys have been going through these triggering times, right? That through this process, you are both growing into your fullest selves, right? But they are very embarrassed. Look at this. They are very, very regretful that they took out their issues on you. Very interesting. Yeah. So see, that's why we're getting that four. We were getting that four of cups energy. Let's take a look at what do you need to surrender as a couple? What do you need to surrender as a couple? Wow. <laughs> just all three of them just kind of, you know, do you see that? Yeah, look at this. So we definitely have, okay, somebody's being stubborn. This is that five of swords energy. Somebody is thinking obsessively. <laughs> that's the four of cups energy and there's the unhealthy relationships. Okay. So definitely, I feel like this is very, very much in alignment with what we have seen so far, right? We've look at this. It's so the, the similarities are so there. Look at that four of cups to me is very much also about like, you know, just sitting there wanting to, you know, go into this obsessive. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know what I want to do. I feel shut down right now. I don't want to accept anything. I'm just going to think about it, right? I'm just going to sit there kind of, you know, stirring in my own juices. This is very much the energy of that stubbornness, right? Five of swords, also very stubborn energy coming through here. So, and I feel like this is where the triggers come from. Okay. I feel like this is where it's like the issues are coming from some sort of unhealthy relationships that your person has had in the past, okay? Because look at this, I'm afraid to open up to anyone. I've been hurt too much in the past, see? I don't know how to trust again. So see, it's the same, it's the same issue. It's the same issue. Wow. I'm sorry I betrayed your trust. I turned my back on you when you needed me the most. Yeah. So let's take a look at their next actions. Oh, sorry, we missed this one. I need to be alone for now. I need to make sense of my intense feelings. I don't want to feel this way. Yeah. So again, that's also very much in this four of cups energy as well. So let's take a look at their next actions and stay with me until the end because we're going to do pick a crystal and we're going to get you some timing as to when things may shift here just some general guidance on timing so spirit can you please tell us what does your person wish to do next what is the there what are their next actions what outcomes can we expect here. Wow. Huh. <laughs> I kind of like that. Why not? Whoa. Ho, ho. 
Wow, beautiful. Yes, see, definitely we're getting that forgiving and learning. Beautiful, beautiful. So I really feel that your person is, I feel like we saw this already, right? I mean, I'm not surprised at all. I feel like your person is going to chase you, but in the best way. You know, like I said, they are, you know, ready to eat that humble pie. <laughs> you know, they know that this needs to be fixed. They know how much they love you, so they are definitely going to pursue you. I do feel a special energy here from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine, chasing the Feminine here, okay? I feel like if you are watching this for your Masculine, there is definitely going to be um, an effort that the masculine is making to really rise above. I feel like it's time. I feel like whatever has happened, and I do feel for many of you, something significant may have happened here that has caused a rift or that has caused some sort of ongoing drama because we are, this is the card of drama or the card of ongoing obstacles. But I feel like whatever has happened this particular time has really opened the masculine's eyes, especially and the feminines as well, as to the fact that it is time to rise above, that if you want this connection, and you do, you both do, that it is really time to get over any of the pettiness, okay? Because I do feel, again, this is not for everybody, but for some of you, I feel like there has definitely been some pettiness that has gone on here. And again, that's, you know, it happens when we have heightened emotions, when we have, you know, duties, responsibilities, we may have toxic people in our lives, we may have, you know, things that have happened because see, we're getting a lot of energy here of forgiving and learning. See, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So I do feel that your person, again, I feel spirit is calling upon them to look be beyond that veil, to really access divinity within them and start to forgive anybody in the past who has hurt them that has that is causing them to have these triggers but also to forgive and learn from each other that it's time to forgive each other if you have had issues if you've had words right call upon your heart and soul to forgive each other and rise above the pettiness, rise above any kind of drama or obstacles that have uh, gotten in the way of this connection. And I do feel that both of you feel this. Um, I do feel that this is a shared energy between the two of you. Okay, so that's really beautiful. So let's take a look at timing now, okay? Let's take a look at timing. I'm going to give you, this is your pick a card, or sorry, pick a crystal <laughs> segment. And what I'm going to do is use the Divine Timing Oracle deck to give you some guidance on that. Now, before we get into that, I just want to remind you in case you missed the introduction, we do have, I just wanted to thank everybody for the beautiful response to the Blessed Twin Flame Necklace. So if you'd like to order that, um, we do have only a few more available in my Etsy shop. They all sold out again. <laughs> and so um, I'm not going to go in again de into detail as to what this, what this necklace is for, what it means. Please go back to the introduction where I do talk about what it is. Um, we have international shipping on all of the decks as well as the necklace. And again, to reiterate, I am doing a special offer for anybody who would like to have a 50 minute live reading with me on Zoom. If you've been wanting to have that, but you haven't quite done it yet, this is the best time to do so because you will also get the Twin Flame Union activation deck, which is this deck right here, for free as part of your reading. I will send it to you. So all of the links are in the box below. Everything is in my Etsy shop in terms of the Oracle decks as well as the necklace. And in order to book a reading, uh, the link is to my website in order to do that. All right, so we have for our divine timing here, we have crystal number one. We have crystal number two, and we have crystal number three. 
So go ahead and make your selection. And we are gonna get you some timing. And ask the question. Okay, this is the time. You can ask any question that you want in your mind. You can say, okay, this is my question and we will get you an approximate time. Please do take this as it resonates. And like I said, energies and timing does change according to your vibration, the situation, right? Um, how much resistance do you have? Are you able to surrender? So many things. But this will give you a general idea. Okay, so far, beautiful crystal number one. Here is the answer to your timing question. In autumn. Interesting. Okay. So for our beautiful crystal number two... Here is your answer to your timing question. Ah, interesting. Stop waiting. Focus on what's working now. Wow. Hmm. And for our crystal number three, here is the answer to your timing question. 10 days. Wow, lovely. <laughs> Wonderful. So guys, please do let me know what you thought in the comment box below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe. If you love this reading, it means so much to me when you support the channel. It inspires me and it just fills my heart with appreciation. So I would love it if you if you subscribed and please do give this video a thumbs up. Also, it helps uh, to show YouTube that we have a message of love and light here that is worth spreading. So thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next one.